subscribe and hit the bell icon. The Indian Peacock. Hi everybody, my name is Leo. I am a junior ranger and this is my puppy. Hero, leave that bird alone. <coughs> Be nice, Hero. You're much bigger than that bird. Hey, look, the bird dropped a feather. Feathers are important because they help birds fly, keep them warm, and hide them from predators. You found another feather, Hero. It must be from another bird. Look, it has a different color. Let's see if we can find more feathers. What is it, Hero? You found another feather? Wow, is that a feather? It looks so different from the other feathers. It's so big and it's so colorful. What was that? Wow, it's a big and beautiful bird. I wonder what kind of bird this is. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Wow, look at those feathers. Hi Katie, did you find anything? Hi Leo, so the bird you found is, it's an Indian peacock also known as a blue peacock. Well, it definitely is blue, and it's called an Indian peacock because it comes from India? That's right. It's usually found in the rainforests of India and Sri Lanka. Peacocks eat seeds, fruits, insects, and even small animals like lizards and snakes. What else did you find out, Katie? Actually, a peacock is a male, like the one you found and a female is called a peahen. The peacocks, or males, are more colorful and have bigger tail feathers. The peahens, or females, have more dull-looking colors. Both the male and female are called a peafowl. So it's an Indian peafowl. Correct. Not all peafowls are blue, though. Some are born with white feathers. And peafowls are one of the largest flying birds in the world. Such an interesting bird. I don't think it belongs in our garden. We should bring the peacock back to its friends. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Ranger Rocky. Welcome to the rainforest, Junior Rangers. Ah, I see you brought a male Indian peafowl, or a peacock. Yes, Ranger Rocky. We're trying to bring it back to its friends. You're just in time, Leo. It's mating season. That means it's time for the peafowl to make baby peafowls. See the peacock showing off his tail feathers? He is trying to attract the peahens, the female peafowls. So, he's looking for a girlfriend. Where can we find a female or peahen? The peacock prefers to have multiple girlfriends or mates, so you should look for a group of peahens. All peafowls stay on the ground during the day, but they sleep in tall trees during the night to protect themselves from other animals. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank you, Thank Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. With the Jeep, we should get there in no time. <coughs> what is it, Hero? Leo, it looks like some big cats are following us. They could be jungle cats, Katie. It says jungle cats are one of the peacock's predators. This means jungle cats hunt peacocks for food. Don't worry, Katie. We're safe in the Jeep. Oh, no. It looks like we have a flat tire. Can we change it? There's no time. Those jungle cats are too close. Quick, let's start walking. <laughs> There are 
too many! The peacock scared the jungle cats away by making itself look big! Good work, peacock! We did it! We found a group of peahens! We found an Indian peacock in our garden! We learned that peacocks are male peafowls. They have big tail feathers to impress the females, which are called peahens. So we went to the rainforest and found a group of peahens for the peacock. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Atlantic Puffin. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Look, Hero, this is a remote-controlled car. I can make the car move using this controller. I can make the car go round in circles. I can make the car drive in a figure eight. I can make the car drive really far away. And I can make it drive back again. It's a bird. Where did you come from? I've never seen a bird like this before. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? Yes, I did, Leo. The bird you found is an Atlantic puffin. Atlantic puffins can be recognized by their colorful beaks. Like most birds, Atlantic puffins can fly. But they can also swim underwater using their wings and webbed feet. The Atlantic Puffin is a fast swimmer and can stay underwater for up to a minute. The Atlantic Puffin mostly eats small fish such as herring and sand eels. Atlantic Puffins can catch several small fish in one dive. They use their tongue to hold fish in their mouth so they leave their beaks free to catch even more fish. That's amazing! I've never seen such a bird before. Where does it come from? Atlantic puffins come from far up north. They live on sea coasts and islands around the Atlantic Ocean. More than half of the world's Atlantic puffins are found around Iceland. About 8 to 10 million puffins live there. That's a lot of puffins. So our puffin is a really long way from Iceland. And it's too hot for it to stay here. We should bring it back home. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Welcome to Iceland, Junior Rangers. Ah, I see you brought an Atlantic puffin. Yes, Ranger Rocky. We want to take it back to its home. That's great, Katie. Atlantic puffins spend most of their lives out at sea. But during spring and summer, the puffins return to land to breed. So that's when they look for a partner and the females lay eggs. Pairs of Atlantic puffins often become partners for life. They return to the same nest year after year. This Atlantic puffin must have gotten lost while trying to get back to its nest. So where can we find its nest? Atlantic puffins like to build their nests high up on cliffs. Some of them even nest in rabbit holes. Many puffins choose to build their nests in old rabbit holes. Unfortunately, some puffins have been known to chase rabbits out of their holes. 
But in some cases, puffins and rabbits can live side by side. So we should look for some cliffs or rabbit holes. That's right. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank, Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Well, here we are. I don't see any puffin nests around here. Maybe we can find some below the cliff. Let me take a closer look. Whoa! Leo! Leo! Um, I could use some help, Katie. I can't reach you, Leo. Let me get a rope. Hang on. Oh, no! There's no rope in the Jeep. Leo, I can't find a... rope? I have rope in my backpack, remember? Can you throw one end of the rope? I... I don't think so, Katie. One wrong move and I'll fall. Oh, no! What can we do now? Oh! Hi, Puffin! Thank you, Puffin. Now we can pull Leo up. Why don't you use the Jeep? That's much, huh? Easier. Great. Katie already had the same idea. Ranger Rocky. You should be more careful, Junior Ranger. Cliff edges can be unstable or very slippery, so stay away from them. Yeah, that wasn't very smart of me. Well, at least you're safe now, Leo. Yeah. Look, it's the Puffin's partner. We did it. We found the Puffin's nest. Great work, everyone. Hooray! We found an Atlantic Puffin in our garden. We learned that Atlantic Puffins return to the same nest every year to breed. So we went to Iceland to help the puffin find its nest. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The yellow crested cockatoo. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Hero, do you want to play musical statues? When the music plays, you dance. But when the music stops, you have to stop immediately. Okay, remember, when I stop the music, you have to freeze. Well done, Hero. Now it's my turn. You control the music. Hey, what's this? I win, I win. Oh, it can talk. Did you hear that too? The bird said something. Maybe it's a parrot. Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hi Katie, so did you find anything? Hi Leo, the bird you found is indeed a parrot. And this one is called a yellow-crusted cockatoo. It gets its name because of the yellow feathers, or crown, on its head. The cockatoo will raise those feathers on its head whenever it's surprised, or when it tries to impress others. The yellow-crusted cockatoo originally comes from parts of Indonesia and East Timor. Nowadays, they live in a few more places. Some people have yellow-crusted cockatoos as pets, but their real homes are tropical forests and open woodlands. There, they eat things like seeds, fruits, and flowers. Unfortunately, there aren't many of these birds left. That's so sad. We should protect it by taking it back to its original home. Come and join us. Great idea, Leo. See you downstairs, Leo. for a 
lots of fun and lots to learn. One, two, off we go for lots of fun and lots to learn. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers. Ah, I see you've brought with you a yellow-crested cockatoo. Yes, Ranger Rocky. We're trying to bring it back home. Yellow-crested cockatoos are intelligent birds, and they can live up to 50 or 60 years old. Yellow-crested cockatoos like to rest and eat in pairs, or in a flock, which is a group of birds. In the wild, they use extremely loud screeches to communicate with each other. For example, they screech loudly to warn other cockatoos of danger. Leo said the cockatoo was talking, so why don't they use normal words? Like most other parrots, yellow-crested cockatoos can copy the sounds we make when we speak, so they don't really understand what the words mean. Other talents of the yellow-crested cockatoo are shaking and dancing. They are entertaining birds, which is the reason why people like to have them as pets. Unfortunately, because people like them as pets, they have become victims of bird trading and illegal bird trapping. Though cockatoos are very good animals to keep as pets, their real home is still in the wild. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank, Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Let's leave the Jeep. It's easier to walk here. Okay, Leo. Okay, Leo. <laughs> <laughs> hey, cockatoo. Where are you going? There are seeds and berries on the ground. I wonder who left them here. Look, it continues all the way. <gasps> Leo, it's a trap. Cockatoo, stop. <coughs> oh, no. Don't worry, Cockatoo. We'll get you out. <coughs> Leo, it's a Komodo dragon. Hero, Komodo dragons are very dangerous. Their bites are venomous, so stay away from him. Leo, can you open it? The Komodo dragon is approaching. I can't. It's stuck. Leo. I can't open it, but I won't leave you, bird. Katie, hold on. That was close. Almost. There, you're free, bird. Free, bird. Free, bird. <coughs> Look, Katie, the cockatoo is dancing again. Bye-bye, cockatoo. Bye-bye, cockatoo. Bye-bye, cockatoo. Bye-bye, cockatoo. We did it. We found a home for the yellow-crested cockatoo. Good job, everybody. Hooray! Yay! We found a yellow-crested cockatoo in our garden. We learned that yellow-crested cockatoos can talk and that they like to dance and move. People like to keep them as pets, but cockatoos really belong in the wild. So we found a new home for the cockatoo. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Hola, exploradores juniors. Check out our Spanish channel by clicking the link in the description below. See you there.